McCallan have been a customer of ours for, well, before I was born, and I'm in my 65th year. We've taken a death mask of the stills, and we've actually applied the skill and handcrafting of her size to perfectly mimic those in every shape and form. We want to produce exactly the same today as we have done for the last 200 years here. When we spoke to Richard Forsyth, who owns Forsyth, the coppersmiths, based in Rothes, three miles down the road from it. The McAllen spirit still is one of the smaller ones in the industry. There is a perception that the smaller spirit pot makes a better spirit. All our pots are still hand-beaten to exacting shapes and templates. For the hammering of the pot still, it's definitely a young man's game. We'll maybe take on five or six apprentices every year. The still is made in about five parts. We have the base, we have the flue plate, then we have the shoulder plate, the OG, you've got the head and then you've got the neck. It would take six guys, six weeks to make a pot still. The mash tun came up from the north of England and it came up in two halves. It's made by Briggs, it's a truly beautiful piece, bead blasted and sculpturally wonderful. Nobody could help but notice it on the roads, you know, coming up the A9. A bit of kit like that can't be going to many places in the north of Scotland. So we're planning it for months in advance, even thinking about the routes and getting up the road coming up the hill to McAllen. We're a dockside crane to lift the marsh house over in two halves. For me, it's just that, that final moment when the two bits came together, but they came together perfectly. It can only be done with planning. It really blew up a blizzard, uh, so we, we made that by the skin of our teeth. We built the steel round about it, we built the roof, and it was just sitting there peacefully doing nothing. We had fantastic concrete and steel and a timber roof, and but watching the stills coming trundling down the hill, everyone just thought, that's it, it's starting to feel like a distillery. The stills you see today have also been acid cleaned down and lacquered to preserve their finish. You know, the first condensers went in, the first stills went in, but we just kept going. One still house, two still houses, third still house. We always said we wanted to create the most beautifully coordinated distillery ever. Our involvement was about composition and about taking those beautiful hand-beaten vessels and arranging those in a way that celebrates them even more. The fact that we've even raised the central stills, this temple-like arrangement, is almost classical in its beauty. It's a rotunda in Rome. The hardest thing is the shape. We see the stills set out in the round fashion. It's definitely not a conventional distillery layout. And we've, we've come up with something that we're very proud of. Traditionally, that would be back of house and not necessarily on show, but we're quite keen for everything to be visible, the whole process. Everything's there for people to see. There's nothing buried, there's nothing pieced in. It's all thought about, planned, and as you can see, it's something to behold. It's been fantastic to see the project evolve from the planning stage. The concept has been followed through and we haven't changed too much. We've tweaked things that will make the operation of the plant better while still maintaining the architect's vision. Everything that comes from and goes to the distillery comes through here. It's what makes everything tick, but with such elegance. People leaving the Macallan will have an amazing understanding of the whisky process. You can physically see the component parts. You can see the story, the journey. It's all laid out in the most beautiful way. The stills, they're illuminated by feature lighting to accentuate the story, the narrative of what's going on. The fermentation vessels have a cooler blue light and then it gradually gets warmer and redder as it moves towards the middle. When you see those red lights on, especially around the copper, it just, you know, they just come alive. For me, this is the beating heart of the Macallan distillery, which gives the Macallan its particular, distinctive and unbeatable character. When the first mash went in, that meant the distillery was coming to life. When we've got heat, we've got steam, we've got smells, we've got the noise, the distillery is now operational.